So I know I'm not the only person who's thinking it, but I'm going to be the first person to say it. Hollywood sucks. It feels like they've chosen quantity over quality. So back in my day, we only had a few movies every year, but they put their time and effort to make sure these movies were spectacular and that these movies did not suck before they hit the big screen. Now we got more movies than ever before, but these movies basically suck. Now, let's think about that logic for a second. If you're a parent, do you want your daughter to be dating a hundred guys a week and every guy around town knows who she is? Or do you want your daughter to date one guy a year and that guy's going to be classy, he's going to be well-educated, he has a job, and he has his life all together? Think about it for one moment. Quantity versus quality. Because if you choose option A, people are going to think your daughter is sleazy. Choose option B, people are going to think your daughter's classy. Now, I don't blame Hollywood. They clearly don't have any good ideas. Fortunately for them, I have a very good brain. And I have a billion and one ideas for them, and I'm going to give them four ideas for free. <coughs> so my one friend, he used to work at one of the studios. His name is Neil. And apparently, there was going to be a sequel to Brokeback Mountain. And this sequel, it was going to be with lesbians. And it was going to be called Brokeback Canyon. And it was going to be so good, critics were going to give it two fists in. Now, moving to the Spider-Man genre. <coughs> now, I'm not sure if you paid attention to Spider-Man, but there's all these different versions of Spider-Man. I mean, there's a female Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. There's a 1930s mobster Spider-Man. There's a future Hispanic Spider-Man. And now they're trying to push on us a half Puerto Rican, half black Spider-Man. I mean, how multicultural and politically correct do they have to be? He just can't be a black Spider-Man. He can't just be a Puerto Rican Spider-Man. He has to be half black and half Puerto Rican. And I'm thinking, if you're going down this path, why not just go all the way down there? Spider-Man is swinging around New York City in his tights, shooting his load at other guys. Come on, let the spider out of the closet. He's basically gay. And who better to play him than Tom Daly? I think that would be brilliant. Now, Hollywood... When you're targeting men and women, you got to keep things simple. Remember this one word, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So with men, you want to do something with, like Sex in the City meets Baywatch. You want it entirely in slow motion when they're walking down the beach. In fact, I want this movie to be 80% in slow motion. And the only parts that should be moving are the parts where they're banging. Because let's face it, guys only think about one thing. Now, if you want to have a blockbuster hit with women, again, you got to keep it simple. You want to do a movie with <coughs> men agreeing with women. The woman's always right, and it's going to be called, Yes, Dear. And constantly, they're going to say, Yes, you're right. It's always the man's fault, and you're always right. And if you're going to do a movie with lesbians, or to get the lesbian crowd, you want to do a movie about carpeting. <clears throat> with men, you want, with gay men, you want to do a movie about fashion. You always got to keep it simple. And if you're looking for any great actors, I know one good-looking guy right over here that would be excellent in any movie. Until next time, I'm Rio.